welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and this is my assistant Katie. Hi. Um, today we are going to be showing you how to make this super cute and functional um, heating pad and you can also double it up as a, what are those things you wear when you change? Airplane pillow. Yeah, like an airplane pillow or a travel travel pillow. So this one is stuffed with rice and you can put it in the microwave and heat it up or you can stuff it with um, pillow stuffing and make the travel pillow out of it. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. A half a yard of fabric. I'm actually going to use some of the terry chenille that I used for my last video and some quilt leading cotton, but you can use any cotton fabric that you like. Cotton is microwavable, so that's what you're going to want to stick with. Rice, some basic sewing supplies, and this fun template, which you'll be able to find a link for in the description box below the video. So just click the show more link right there. So here we have our half of yard of fabric and this is the half yard way and then here's my salvage edges so it's folded in half just like it came off of the bolt. You have your two salvages together on this side folded in half so you have two layers there. And what we're going to want to do is take that and fold it in half one more time so you actually have four layers of fabric. Next we're going to take our template and we're just going to place our template along the fold here. And you may just want to mark that on your pattern piece, but it'll be in the download as well. And then you're going to trace around this pattern. Doesn't have to be perfect, just do a rough tracing here because we're going to actually use this line as our sewing line. There we go. And then next we're going to just take our rotary cutter or regular scissors and we're going to trim out. But we're not going to trim on the line, we're going to trim about a half an inch away from the line. And then we'll use our line as our actual sewing guide. So now we have two matching pieces and what you can do next is just place these right sides together. Next you're going to sew all the way around these edges leaving about four or so inches at the top to flip it right side out. We are going to backstitch at the stops and starts up there but because I wanted to make this one a little bit extra cute I actually traced another one on my cotton terry and I'm actually going to use that instead so you can kind of make two out of a half a yard if you do it this way. And if you would like, you can also clip around these edges just so that it doesn't come apart. Now that we have this clipped all the way around, we're going to go ahead and take it over to our sewing machine. We're going to sew all the way around the edges using a half an inch seam allowance. And then we're going to leave about four or so inches at the top open so that we can turn our heating pad right side out when we are done. So here is our piece. We've just finished sewing it around. Good job, Katie. And then next we're going to take our scissors. We're just going to do a couple of clips around these inside corners and I'm just cutting into the fabric but not into my stitch line. And then I'll do a few just around these outside corners and it just kind of helps it um, turn out a little bit cleaner. All right, our next job here is just to carefully turn this right side out. And if you backstitched at your stop and start points, you shouldn't have any problem with this. It's nice and big. If you want, you can use this little um, clover hair marker. Um, it just kind of has this nice little seam edge on it and you can use that to push them out too. But I think for this project, your fingers probably will do the trick. Now we're going to take this over to our ironing board and just press it so it's nice and flat. And then I like to run a top stitch all the way around the outside of it as well because once we fill this with rice it'll be a, just a little bit harder. So I'm going to actually do that at my stop and start points here. Run a top stitch all the way around the outside of this and still leave this open. But when I go to press it I am going to press it under about um, half an inch or so just like we did our seam allowance on the other side just so that it's ready to go when we sew the whole thing together and then I'll clip that once we fill it with rice. Next we're going to go ahead and pour our rice into our heating pad here very carefully. Oops, up here, okay, one off the edge. <laughs> All right, now that we've got all our rice inside, and by the way, don't overfill this. You want it to be kind of pliable and so it can kind of, you know, mold to your body. Um, we're going to go ahead and just pin these in place, and I'm going to kind of shake the rice away from this edge here so that we can sew it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just clip it in place so that I can hold it all together. And then we'll take it over to our sewing machine, and we'll just sew up this opening here, and then we'll be done. 
All right, guys, that was it. Super simple and easy. Katie has made quite a few of these. Yeah. She makes them as gifts, um, and we like to give them. They're kind of fun. Um, Katie, why don't you tell us how we heat these up? So you can put them in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. I normally do it for a minute 30, but you can always do it for 60 seconds or however long you want. It just depends on how hot you want it. Until you get it to the temperature mm -hmm. you want. And you don't want to put it in for, like, more than 45 seconds, otherwise... I don't actually know, I just haven't done it. Mom just, just in case. Not to do it. Just do 30 second interval, intervals, and then that way you can kind of make it the right temperature. And the rice inside retains the heat really well. Um, this one is perfect size for adult or for kids. It's a little bit big on Katie, but um, probably better for a teenager or an adult. You can, of course, modify the pattern to make it any size that you want using the same techniques. The other thing I wanted to tell you is you can pretty much use any fabric that you like. We used this cotton chenille terry on the bottom just because it's so soft, and then we just used a regular quilting cotton on the top um, but just make sure that your fabric is cotton and you should be good cotton is okay to go in the microwave without like doing anything funky to your microwave or to the fabric so whatever fabric you pick just make sure that it is cotton and you should be good to go so that is it for today's tutorial if you like it please make sure to a thumbs up and subscribe that way I know to keep making fun videos for you thanks for joining us for today's video and we will see you next time make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications give it a big thumb up so I know to continue doing videos like this if you like it it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. And quilting cotton, but you can use any kind of fabric you like. No, that's not true. <laughs> so we've got our... Okay. No, don't eat the rice, Jax. Don't eat the rice. Okay. Lining up all of the edges. And then you can sew all the way around these edges using a half an hour... We're going to sew all the way around these edges using a half an hour, half an inch seam allowance. Why can't I say that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Why is this so big? Because when you stuff it, it gets um, smaller. What's that called? Heating pad. Heating pad right side out when we are done. So here is our piece. We've just finished sewing it around. Good job, Katie. And then next we're going to take our scissors and just do a couple of... Whoa. Oh my gosh, he's stealing a bag. Can you get that bag? It's around his neck. He's going to choke. How did he loop this bag around I his head know. so he can pull it around? Watch, he's going to go back and do it again. Should we go bye? Seriously, your eyes are lame. Like. You have to do, make sure to smash that like button, <laughs> subscribe to this video, share it with all your friends. Smash that like button. Okay. You didn't do bye. the bye. <laughs> you didn't do the bye. Ready? One, two, three. Bye. bye.